Has your ever have your stack mat ever stopped working? That was not supposed to be there. It won't turn on. Nothing works. It's useless. This is an issue, and the WCA has not solved it. So I solved it. As you can see, this is my new stack mat. Um, it has some uh, nice components, and it can accurately uh, get your time up to one decimal place. So, uh, how does it work? Well, it runs on a laptop, and the uh, laptop connects to the microcontroller here through this uh, FTDI breakout board or a programmer. Now, uh, this is relevant. The breakout board connects here, which then connects to the microcontroller, puts the code on the microcontroller, and uh, it also gives it power through here or something like that. Yeah, it gives it power. And once it has the power, it will now do whatever it's told to do. Let me control these buttons, this button, these LEDs, and this uh, sensor which detects how much light reflects off an object. I'll link to buy it in the description. So, how does this work? Well, this plugs in, and then uh, this light will turn on, telling us it's plugged in. And then, we go to my uh, cool written code, right here. Very nice. Yeah, we're just gonna upload it to the board. So yeah, this will take a bit. But uh this will just show you how much memory it really uses, and it's not too much memory at all. Yeah, only about 14% of the memory is used. So now we open up our serial port serial monitor. And the way this works is that this button here is press, and then your finger covers this, which turns on this LED, meaning the timer's ready. When you let go, these two LEDs go off, and that will tell you that your timer has started, which will be displayed right there. To stop the timer, all you have to do is press your finger there. The LEDs will go off, and your time will be displayed in seconds. And then, you know, you can reset it and all. So, and like that, like that, like that. And yeah, everything uploads. Uh, everything works. Stop it. Yeah, I think like two different times there. 6.4 seconds. So, yeah, that works pretty well. Um, the links are some stuff will be in the description as well as the code. So yeah. So here's the code. Basically, um, we just set up um, we set up communications here, and this is just setting up the LEDs and the buttons. Then we have a while loop here, which while loops contain everything. Here it just resets stuff, and it just checks if the button's pressed, and if the button's pressed and the sensor's covered. Then it will move on to the next part and turn on an LED. The next part, it will wait for you to remove your finger from the sensor before moving on to before um for obviously starting the timer, which is done in a pretty bad way. It's not really good. Uh, we turn off an LED and then we check to see if you stop it, which moves on to the next state. It turns off all LEDs, and then it will output stuff, and then it will wait for you to reset it, and that's it.